Uh, hi, uh, Anthony from uh, Mobile Millennium DJs here. Uh, yeah, thank you for uh, choosing to watch this video. I hope it's informative for you. Okay, so we're just going to go through our online music request system today for you. Uh, it's a pretty easy system to use, but sometimes people will have a little bit of trouble. So we're just going to make a quick video. Okay, so first of all, uh, once you book with us, you should get a username and password which will allow you access to our system. So you can head on over to our webpage, mmdjs.com.au and then you go over to the client login area. So you click on that. And then uh, you log in via uh, with your uh, event date. So I've set up a uh, test account here then you put in your password that we emailed to you and now this will take us over to the dashboard uh, so this is your dashboard area uh, so you've got your online planning form uh, your event timeline for there for weddings and your music request system um, also you can make a payment and we've got some news and stuff about us here as well and if you need help with anything or have any questions you can message us as well uh, so if we're going to start off here with the music requests so you click on this now I have put a few songs in here already as you can see so we've got three sections we've got a must play a play if possible a custom and a do not play so uh, first of all um, if you need to add songs to anything you can type in an artist up here so we'll just try The B52 is a pretty common request. So you can add that to your must play, play if possible. If you don't like the song, you can just put it into the do not play. Um, so I'm just going to put it in our must play. So you just click that button, there it is, it's in there already. Um, also, the other way you can is um, you can go in here and you can um, type in the song name. So uh, say, you want to grease you don't have to type in the whole song name just enough for it to pick it up and I'll put that in the play if possible so there we go it's in there already and also we've got over here some quick links these go to uh, for your artist names and your song name titles so um, we'll just click on M so say you didn't want to listen to Don't Call Me Baby by Madison Avenue uh, you can just add that to your Do Not Play so you hit the red one and now that's added to your Do Not Plays down here now there's one more uh, little feature here which is called Custom Songs so this is for any songs that are not in the uh, database so you can click on that you can put in your artist and title so say um, Phil Collins Easy Lover and Add and we'll get those for you or if for some reason we can't we would let you know so here they are here now if you need to delete a song out you just go here and hit remove from list So and the other important thing is to remember to save your list regularly so hit save, anything you do on our online system it's a good idea to save it all the time that way you won't lose any of your valuable uh, data also if it's you and your partner um, don't both log in at the same time because you'll override each other's um, data and stuff will get lost uh, you can also print your list here and then when you finish with your list uh, you can submit your list here as well now also up here we've got the most requested this is really handy little section so it's got your top 200 most requested for the last 12 months in here so there's quite a few songs there so if you need a bit of a idea of what songs you can choose you can come in here uh, also it's got all your eras in here as well 
And then for your weddings, we've got first dances, father daughter dance, uh, bouquet gata, cake, uh, your introduction songs, all that's in there as well. So that's a really handy tool. So if we go back to this here, we've saved it. Now if you hit the bottom here, this is the client area, it will remind you to save your work, but we just saved it, so that's okay. And that'll take you back to your dashboard. So uh, also up here, make sure that you keep an eye on this, because it says please submit all forms before Thursday the 4th of May. So that's your lockout date, so you'll be locked out after that. So try and complete it um, before that date, or if you can't for some reason just let us know, and we'll discuss that with you. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for the online system. So if you have any questions, just let us know, and we'll go from there. I hope that was some help. Thank you.